In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a Google Trends graph, download the data for the past five years, and quickly and easily perform an analysis on the data by using a pre-programmed Excel sheet that I created. And what the Excel sheet does is it takes the averages of the search interest for each month for the past five years and puts it into a well-organized table. So as you might know, normally when you're looking at a Google Trends graph, especially if you're looking at the past five years, um, if you try to analyze this visually, it requires, of course, a lot of points in, and uh, you would have to try to remember when the graph spiked at all these different points in time. But with this, what this does is it immediately tells you or immediately shows you that in December, Overall, for the past five years, you had the highest average search interest. And the way it does this is that it first looks at the individual months and years. For, so, for instance, the first four weeks of the data is September 2014. And what this shows you is that in September 2014, uh, the search interest for these four weeks averaged at 58. And then you have October of 2014 where the average is 64 so on and so forth and it does this for every month and year that exists within this data here's 2015 all right and as you scroll down all right it does that same analysis on all of the months throughout all of these years also at the bottom the each quarter of the year is summarized so this, for instance, tells you the average search interest for the first quarter of the year, January to March, for the again, for the past five years collectively, the second quarter, the third quarter, and the fourth. And again, you can quickly see that the fourth quarter has been the most popular time for this particular keyword over the past five years. So this is a really quick and easy way of analyzing the past five years of data from the Google Trends Graph. Now to show you how it works, it's really quite simple. Um, now in this case, I already have data present. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you delete all of this data. And remember, it reaches quite far down. So you have to make sure that you click on A and B, highlight A and B, columns A and B, press the delete button. And when you press the delete button, that will of course clear out the sheet completely all right all the data is cleared out and I'm gonna go on to another Google Trends search and I'll do for instance sandals right something which is a bit different from hats and for sandals again I will select past five years on sandals and now for sandals you see that there's certain points of the year as well and over the past five years that we have a uh, spike in sandals and again instead of just analyzing this I will click here I will open it as a CSV file I will then take the data for sandals and this data is fine it's just that the column is too small for you to see it and you will highlight both columns so again you click on the actual letter A drag the mouse over so that way you get the whole of column A and B right click copy then you go over to the spreadsheet and you just right click and paste the data here all right now it just needs a moment to fall in place and of course to recalculate and once it recalculates you get the results for sandals United States and the past five years, which is September 7th, 2014 to September 1st. And now you can see the difference, right? This time it's May, June, and July that have the green up arrows, which represent the uh, most popular months, all right? The time that you had the highest search interest is May, June, and July. You can see the lowest search interest in January, October, October, November, and December, which all makes perfect sense since we're talking about a summer item, a warm weather item. Right in August, it drop begins to drop off. These are the three most popular months, and so naturally, the second quarter is also the most popular quarter. And remember, this is based on the past five years of data. Um, so remember that when using this, 
you have to go with the past five years. You have to use, uh, make sure you select the past five years option for the uh, time frame. All right, it could be, um, it should work for any country, but the point is you have to make sure you have the past five years. All right, so um, I could even try this on, uh, let's say it was a YouTube search. Instead, for the past five years, all right, I can download that data as well. All right, and it's the same idea, right? So again, I would just take this data, copy it. All right, I would paste it in here, and then it will do the same analysis for uh, YouTube data. So I would first have to delete this. Uh, let's see if I can remember which one was the YouTube data. Should be this one, number fifteen, and I'll just copy it and go to the analyzer and paste it and once I paste it again I just have to wait for it and there you go as you can see for YouTube the data is a bit different right so it's the same search term but this was on YouTube now it doesn't indicate here whether you searched on YouTube so you're gonna have to you'd have to make a note of that if you're using uh, my spreadsheet you could always go to file uh, save and save it under um, the file name with YouTube in the file name or something to indicate that it's YouTube so basically that's how it works the only difference here is that as you can see May is not as popular as it was before but June and July um, are still the most popular and the second quarter is still the most popular overall all right so it's not that different on YouTube so that's basically how this works um, if you would like there will be a link in the description of this video where you can um, obtain a copy of the spreadsheet also feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel feel free to hit like if you like this also feel free to leave feedback comments I really would appreciate any comments or feedback other things you think would be um, nice to add to something like this other things that uh, would be helpful um, and I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you very much and take care.